All right, Dave, so we're, we decided we're going to re-roof this project. Right. So now we got to get everything ready before we start loading the roof and laying out sheet and all that happy stuff. What do we really need to concentrate on right now? Well, any, any project. Number one, you have to look and see, do we have ponding water? Yes. Is it much? Is it little? Can we just sweep it off and go? Because uh -huh. it's coming from the HVAC. What about moisture trapped in there? Moisture sure? trapped in there. We've made sure that it's not in there okay. because we've done cuts and a scan. If this were a mod bit granulated without the coating, we try to get rid of all the granules. It's granules. Yep. So anything that's not being used, any unit on the roof, pipe yeah. flashings, if they're dead, get them off the roof and get them out of your way. Right. Metal edging. Maybe you have to remove, depending on the job, you might have to remove that. Depending on the uh, job. Drain leads. Leads. You know, lead flashings, right. pipe boots, any pitch pockets that aren't being used. Mm -hmm. Get rid of everything, right. correct? Yeah, certainly anything dead, you don't want to flash it. Yeah, it's, you're just I wasting mean, time and money. Wasting time and money, yeah. yeah. So Dave, we are recovering over this existing roof, which is a smooth bot deck. Well, we're going to a built up roof with gravel. Well, let's do a build up roof without gravel. Okay, so it'll be a smooth. Yeah. Basically, I'm a hot guy, so I know well, hot work, I mean, look at right? It's well, a given. Um, smooth BUR is basically the same as what we have here. Yeah. Right. So, so you're going to basically kind of do the same, get the same steps. Everything would be the same. What now, about gravel? Gravel. Okay. With gravel, you have to get the, the gravel off. Okay. That can be power broom, that can be vacuumed, shoveled. Anyway, you've got to get the gravel off. Can you spud the entire roof? You cannot spud the entire roof and make it smooth. Yeah, it's not, right. not going to work. So if you have a, a gravel BUR, you get all the aggregate off one inch minimum insulation for TPO, one inch and a half. PPC. If PPC. you're going back and recovering with those two types of members. Right. What about going over an existing TPO, TPO over top of TPO? Well, the spec right now is cut it into 10 foot squares. 10 by 10 sections. Right. And either leave, leave, it. leave it lay or if you could, you could roll it up and get it out of your way. Right, which is what I would do because now I can put two more roofs on there. Right. The one there, we're doing now and got, yeah. the future one. And TPO over time could actually curl up. Yes. Uh, yeah. What about PVC? You cannot overlay PVC over PVC. You have to have a separator, be it insulation, be it a polymat. What um, about fleece? PVC fleece? fleece. You Absolutely. have to separate. What, what would happen if you didn't separate PVC from PVC? You have plasticizer migration. So basically it's going to turn back into a PVC pipe. <laughs> you're going to shorten the life of the PVC on top. So the steps to preparing your roof for, let's say, a single ply, a built up, be it smooth, be it gravel, for a mod bit, be it smooth, whatever the case may be, you're going to kind of go through the same steps of getting rid of certain equipment you don't need. Oh, yeah. Every step's going to be the same, but what considerations you have to what you're going to recover with. So again, like you said, over existing built up, we need at least one inch for TPO, inch and a half for PVC. Right, build up with gravel. What about a cold tar pitch roof? Same thing. You cannot go direct to coal tar. So you have to separate that. You have to have insulation on that for sure. So Dave, we don't know what we talked about. We got rid of all the dead equipment, anything we don't need. So stay tuned for our next section where we're actually going to start installing the roof. Yes.